Hello, welcome to Nerd Variety Podcast. This is the show where we talk about nerd variety things, a variety of nerd things, and podcast things. And I am today's list. Well, it's not a list. We don't do lists right now. Um, I am today's content creator. No, the subject creator. I the instigator. I, yes. uh, and I am a co-host. Idea and, person. What? Idea person. Yes, idea person. I'm the idea person. <laughs> and I am just one co-host today. I am, right now, my name is Hunter, but that may change soon. I don't know. Uh, and I am joined by the lovely Josh Davies. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm here. I, yeah. The loveliest. Feeling, lo- feeling lovely on this and the Monday. <laughs> also lovely, uh, Ms. <laughs> Hannah. Hogan. You don't have to say it like it's painful. Also, Maybe. lovely. <laughs> I had to. That just kind of went with the flow. And excuse you, I'm Mrs. Hannah Hogan. That's what I said. Uh-huh. All right. First, first of her name, the lovelier. The lovelier. <laughs> lovelierist. It's the lo- uh, lovelierist. Bestie. I'll accept lovelierist. That's not a word. Well, I accept it anyway. <sighs> <laughs> Anyways, today we kind of uh, we kind of scrambled a little bit in the past week since we Hannah has been putting off figuring out a topic. I can't think of a topic. I'm not the idea person. So the one that I was going to do this week we have pushed till next week, and this week we are talking about actors that we have changed our opinions of over time, whether it's due to personal reasons, like their personal lives, maybe our personal lives. I don't know if that happens as much. Um, and Or it's just certain things that they've been in that have just maybe ruined it for us, ruined them as an actor for us. Um, now, just before we start, uh, I want to say that I'm a hard person to really... I, I tend to take artists like actors and you know anybody that creates art like this, um, I tend to look at them more just based on their work. Uh, and I try to separate that from uh, a lot of their personal lives. But some people, it's just, it's a little more difficult for me with, especially, you know, more and more as I go and more and more as people do worse things. So, yeah. Yeah, as their, you know, as their behind the scenes life and their personal life start popping up more, and you're like, hmm, I don't think that's 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 something I can fly with, or I can, I'd rather see. I, I don't, I didn't want to know all that, but now I do. Yeah, I agree, but I don't have any of those on my list. I might think of some. Yeah, some okay. should come up. Probably. They There's just, at least one or two. I just am, I, I, as much as I haven't been on stage in years, I do still consider myself uh, an actress, like on the inside. And so for me, these are, um, the that ones I have on my true. list are more about acting ability. Excuse you? That explains so much about you. That I consider myself an actress on the inside? Yes. Yeah, I am. Well, I, I, I'm an actress on the outside too. Believe me, teachers are actresses. I am not as happy as my students think I am. <laughs> <laughs> especially yeah. not all the time yeah also again hannah i'm, I'm kind of with you there you know as someone who studied film and and acting and all that stuff i definitely judge actors very harshly mm. <laughs> on performances yeah uh, so that's why that's a thing for me too um but yeah uh who who wants to start today i'll start okay I have one. This was just the first one that popped into my head um, when I when I thought about actors I've changed my mind about is Zac Efron. Yes, I remember. Um, yeah, I probably mentioned it, um, and and basically it's because I was in middle school or maybe even elementary school. I don't remember when High School Musical came out. Two thousand six. Um, Two thousand six. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I was eleven. Um, I was eleven. 
and everyone mm-hmm. I knew was like, I, I know I'm a little young, whatever. Everyone I knew was obsessed with it and like wanted to watch it all the time and knew all the songs. And I've always been a little bit of an anti-conformist and I'm, I'm struggling still to, to not, not be that. But there was definitely a part of me that was like, I don't like this because everyone else likes it. Right. And I felt that way for a long time and still feel that way a little bit. I get that. Um, also as an adult, I'm just like, this is dumb. But then I saw Zac Efron in The Greatest Showman and was really like, I didn't, going into it, I didn't want to like him. I did not want to enjoy his performance. I didn't want to like appreciate him as an actor, but he did really, really well. He, he was a really good character. He was an amazing singer. And I was like, damn it. (laughs) I like him. He was good. I'm with you on that. I, I didn't really know him though. Like I I didn't know him at all. Um, But, and yeah, I watched the the movie with, uh, I watched Gary Sherman with Courtney. And uh, I think when, when he came up, I'm like, who is this guy? I (laughs) feel like he's maybe vaguely familiar, but Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I have no idea who he is. Yeah. And uh, she told me, I'm like, okay, that sounds maybe <laughs> Disney Channel-ish. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, yep. I I never got into Disney Channel stuff. That always seemed, I don't know, too stupid to me. I wasn't ever much into it either, except Kim Possible. Because Kim Possible's great. But, sure. but yeah, I, I agree. I, I really I really think he did a great job in Great Showman. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm also consider myself a vocalist and have had some vocal training, and so uh, he was legitimately like pretty good. So, yeah, changed my mind. I like him. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see him in more musicals, and I hate myself for it, but it's fine. <laughs> um, again, I saw him as a you know the pretty boy lead you know everybody's like oh my guys that kept on and they also had uh those roles in uh, those movies um where he was the uh the annoying uh obnoxious neighbor of her that married yeah. couple so i thought so i saw him like okay he's gonna be doing these types of movies now but again like i said i saw him in greatest showman i uh saw he was doing some some role in um he had a netflix series and I think a lot of people saw him for, oh, he's kind of grown up. He's not, you know, the person, he's not that, you know, Disney Channel actor slash, you know, uh, you know, yeah. wannabe comedy actor. actor you know, slash he's, he's, actually, he's, got, he's, got, he's got a good range. He's, he's, he's pretty uh, fleshed out. Yeah, he's learning. He's getting better growing up. Hey, and Josh, yeah. um, I don't know if there's anything you can do about this at this point, but uh, you're, you're a little staticky right now um at least on my end Mm -hmm. yeah but yeah um i don't know if there's anything you can fix it wasn't like that at the beginning um so i don't know if she's getting in trouble just thought you should fix it okay uh well while uh while that's happening we'll just give them a second um i'll go i'll go on to mine so my first one Actually, I did just think of a second one uh, <laughs> after we started recording. Um, but the, the one that kind of sparked my interest in this topic, my, my want to do this one, is um, Elliot Page. Oh. You know, I just, I came out last year as trans and... Um, I'm really glad we talked about this on Friday or I would have no clue who you were talking about. Yes. So, like, I, you know, I, (laughs) I've always wanted to, I've always kind of disagreed with this to an extent, because I've, for the longest time, I would have disagreed about wanting to, or about liking an actor or someone just because they fall into, like, a similar category as you, Mm. but uh, for me, it's just... I know that I was, I'm really happy to see, uh, to, to know that there's now going to be such a, such a big name, I think, uh, is now out as transgender and is going to be bringing that, rep, uh, that representation 
with them yeah because they're changing like all his credits i think netflix said they were doing that i don't remember exactly um but somewhere i think i read that they're changing his credits in in previous films and stuff to to put elliot elliot page instead of ellen um so i'm just yeah that's that's something that i'm really happy about and it's, i'm excited now really to see um where he goes going yeah. forward and uh, what kind of roles he gets and yeah if if that changes anything but I, and you know in the same place i'm happy that um that it means and they, they made a statement with umbrella academy that they are not changing his role and i think that's i think that's good you know to an extent to mm -hmm. not make it about not make their right. job, their career, just about that, but to give them a variety of things that they can yeah. do. So, because not to not to go back to our, our our representation of media conversation that we've had a few times, but we always go back to that. But we should. But there's like a difference between, and and in the early days of film, there was a you know there was sort of like the token female character was the thing at the time, right? Like the character's whole personality is wrapped up in like, that's the female who's in the movie. And we finally gotten to the point where women aren't treated that way, but now um, people of color are treated that way and people who are LGBTQ are treated that way where it's like, oh yeah, like we have this show and his personality is that he's gay. And like, that's his personality, which is not how people work. There, right? are, there are some shows where uh, one that I can think of in uh, Big Mouth, they draw attention to that. Like mm -hmm. in one of the episodes, I think it's in season one. They're like, because uh, like, there's this one gay kid and it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, you're the gay kid, right? It's like, I have more going on than that personality <laughs> trait. Yeah. You, yeah. You're gay and you're mean. Like yeah. that's that's who you are, right? So, uh, I have other stuff. <laughs> and yeah. he goes on a whole thing. So the fact that they're not changing Elliot's role is it's cool because they are they're sort of trying to make sure they're not doing that and making it so that being transgender is not the character right but that's just a part of the character because that's just a part of anybody yeah yeah exactly. so i think that's really cool i'm not super invested obviously i don't have as personal connection um as you do to the, this one but um i definitely think it'll be interesting to sort of keep an eye on because i feel like hollywood is so like still struggles so much with diversity it'll be interesting because elliot is already like in the thick of it to right. see how that happens because i feel like for the most part you know you have people who are transgender not being able to make it as far but like elliot's already there right. so <laughs> like elliot's already honestly well, yeah elliot's yeah, like, not a household name yet probably but <laughs> yeah and i mean you know of course when i've mentioned it to other people they're like who i'm not sure i know who that is and because yeah. I'm being, I'm trying to explain to other people who he is without dead naming him. Right. Um, you could. So, say, how, how do I sound? How do I sound? Oh, you sound much better. Yeah. Okay. Um, you could say formally known as Ellen. Well, Paige, I, I because wanted to just. Be, the actor formerly known as or the artist formerly known as Ellen, but yeah well, i still honestly, think it's better not even to bring it up yeah. or or saying they played could because they mm -hmm. did play kitty pride in the that's movies. what i've done i was yeah. gonna say yeah that was that was what clued you yeah. clued me in because i was not aware uh, until you mentioned it when we were hanging out on friday but you mentioned they were in the you know? umbrella academy and i know actors well enough to be like wait a second <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, hold up yeah. and then i put two and two together i was like oh okay cool yeah, yeah he was in umbrella academy uh, is still yeah um they're in the X, some of the x-men movies obviously uh they yeah. they changed kitty pride i think after this after x-men 2 because i think x-men 2 was not him yeah that sounds right, right. and i think kitty, three it, and then days of pay, pay, yeah. yeah page showed up in just two of them but did a really solid job in the, in, in those movies. And that's what I, and also had, had a stint in some indie movies as well. Yeah. And I kind of think before their transition, I kind of fan casted them as as a bad girl. <laughs> um, I don't know if y'all, if y'all could have seen it back then, but I, I kind of saw it. I was like, Oh, that would be cool. I can see that. Mm -hmm. But I didn't exactly. That's not how I <laughs> perceived them, but um, you know, I, but I, 
I also do yeah. really like them in um it's a it's a great game if you haven't played it I would recommend uh, if you like story driven games um Beyond Two Souls they mm-hmm. they were the main character in that and they were they were really good that was an yeah. interesting game Okay, clearly this Elliot Page thing is a big deal, but we spent like 10 minutes on it. I think we should move on. (laughs) Josh, do you have one? But Josh, get his stuff working again. Um, Yes, I'm back. I can (laughs) contribute now. Um, I'll have to to kind of pair two actors um, because they're playing, because of their one big role as playing Batman, that would be Mm. Ben Affleck and Robert Pattinson. Um, Mm. Yeah, I. I didn't like Affleck um, when he was cast as Batman in 2013. I was very against it. Um, and I was just really unsure. It's was like, uh, this is dumb. Why him? Uh. But then I saw he worked with what he was given in Donald Just and Justice League. But, uh, you know, he, he was, so those movies were rough around the edges, but he had, um, he did a good job. And he kind of, and he did, uh, looking at some of his newer, his other work, he does kind of show a bit of a good bit of gravitas, a good bit of, you know, commitment to the role that I was like, okay, I can respect that. And yeah, he does have his issues with, you know, some alcoholism and some other stuff, but I can see, I, I still see that the talent in, in, in the mist, in the mist there. Uh, and the same thing with Robert Pattinson. I did saw him as the token, like pretty boy twilight actor, but now seeing, but now looking at, okay, he's more than that, that role. He's, been doing a lot more things since then a lot of indie dramatic stuff and seeing him in the in the batman trailer was like okay all right this guy can act you know he's got the chops to to do more than just you know hey so basically your your robert robert pattinson's is your equivalent of my zach efron that's what i was thinking (laughs) yeah him and ben affleck are like okay all right i can get i can i can work with this now like they were well well robert pattinson specifically was you know sort of this like teen heartthrob for a while there and then like this one note character and then has been showing that he's capable of a lot more was ben affleck not like that at one time i don't know enough about ben affleck apparently yeah yeah, Ben Affleck was, uh, he had played some kind of, uh, you know, like, oh, he's the, or I guess some kind of tough, some tough guy characters. He was in Daredevil, uh, the movie yeah. there. So he was, you know, I guess he got a lot of flack from that role. Well, but and it seemed course, like he was, he, it seemed like he's been doing his, he's been, you know, putting his, 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 uh, his foot out there or putting himself out there and trying these roles out. But well, of course, you know, he was sometimes it doesn't always work right? out for him. Um, yeah, he was in that. Yeah, he did a good job. He did a good job in that too. And uh, well, also, just if you're if you're looking for Ben Affleck stuff, um, did you see uh, what was it? It was was it the town, the town that he was in uh, a few years back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever see that? If you haven't seen that, that was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while, but yeah, I remember seeing it. Yeah, but yeah, no, I really liked, I really liked Ben Affleck as Batman. Um, I thought he he played that role well. Um, I'm I'm really excited to see Robert Pattinson. That's another one though. Like him for me, he, he he's kind of the same as Zac Efron for me. I didn't necessarily have strong opinions about him. Uh, I knew he was in Twilight, but I'd never seen it. So you know, that's where I'm like. I mean, I would want to judge him. I want to judge him fairly on his acting skills but I've not really seen him in much. I think the only thing yeah. I've seen Robert Pattinson in is, well, The Devil All the Time, which just recently came out um, this year, and, and I, I liked him in that. Um, but there's also, well, I mean, I hated his character, <laughs> but uh, he's a hater. That's good, character. though. That's a good thing. Yeah. For an actor um, to be hated for the character. Yeah, that's great. Yes, mm-hmm. but yeah. uh, I, I remembered him from uh, Goblet of Fire. Mm-hmm. And which again, he was a very one note, like Cedric, basically, like, yeah, didn't do did, us Hufflepuffs did. justice, I'll tell you that much. I mean, he did a good job for the role, I thought. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, yeah. Robert Pattinson was fine, but like, and I think that he had the same problem as, as Cedric and as uh, whatever the guy's name from Twilight is, I'm blanking, um, is that just like the writers didn't give him enough to do. Right, like literally, he just didn't have much screen time as Cedric and the writers of the Twilight series. Yeah, the the, the yeah. movies in general weren't great. Yeah, they um, didn't know how to give him a personality yeah. in, in either roles, but he did 
work with what he was given. Yeah. He, and was I given. read the books. I read all the Twilight books. And the movies could have been better, but even the books were like not great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he didn't have a, a whole lot to work with there. Yeah. So I'm hoping that yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Batman. I will try to to put old biases aside. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, Hannah, did you have another one? I do, and I feel like I might get some hate for this one. Hate? Yeah. Um, I have changed my mind about Johnny Depp. For the good or the bad? For the bad? Batman. But not much. Um, <laughs> well, Josh, what, what, what? I'm embracing for what you might say because we've got a, we've got a lot of Okay, no, I know Johnny, he's, had, he's, he's had some things. So I know, hasn't he had some things in the media recently? Well, he also between him, between him and, and he was also on video his, like his, his wife, right? Yeah, maybe. I wasn't gonna get into all that. Let's just let's just start with that. Okay, okay. okay wasn't okay. gonna get into all that. I'm still talking purely about acting ability. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, because I'm just not well enough informed to to talk about that. Should get that out there. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. In terms of acting ability, Pirates of the Caribbean came out in 2003, uh, so I was eight, and it, to me, is still, like, one of the greatest movies of all time. I, I truly think it's a masterpiece. It's funny, it's action-packed, it's a little bit romantic, it's a great story. Like, I love everything about that movie, including Johnny Depp. I really love his performance. But as a kid, I was like, oh my gosh, this guy, Johnny Depp, who plays this, this character, is amazing he's one of the best actors in the world i've never seen anything like this before and then i started watching more of his stuff and i'm like all these characters seem kind of the same you know what i mean yeah and and my husband and i have talked pretty extensively about actors and about how there are some that like you you don't even really know who that actor is because they just melt into every role they are and every role they play is so different but then there's some actors who are cast because of who they are right so character so people like johnny depp is he's cast for for being johnny depp for being like this kind of weird like he looks a little weird and he acts a little weird and he's he just has like this sort of mannerism like everything he's in you can tell he's johnny depp right Mm. And Jim Carrey is the same way, right? I love Jim Carrey, but he's very much Jim Carrey, right? In every movie he's in, he's in, he's Jim Carrey being a character. Yeah, there's right? a lot he of He doesn't, action. yeah. Yeah, it's very common, right? Yeah. So just as a kid, I felt like Johnny Depp was amazing. And I'm like, he is really good, but I have a little bit less respect for him as an actor just because I can still tell it's him in every movie. Yeah, I, I, can, I can get behind that. Um... I still try to look for roles where I'm still looking for, you know, a role that he gets in and it's like, okay, this is, this is him doing his thing, but he's also, you know, blending in with the role. And I I think he, he's had a, he's had a problem with that ever since, you know, he was, he did good in pirates. Uh, He Mm -hmm. did good as uh, Willy Wonka. Yeah. Um, But after that, it's just been like, okay, find, you know, I haven't seen fantastic beasts too. So I don't know how yeah. that was. I mean, I, I, I've been looking. I, I, I think he could play a good villain, and I would yeah. I'd like to see how he how he did. In the he was good. Year. He was good. He's not, yeah. you know, what what we really wanted. They didn't give him a lot of screen time. I don't think. No. In the okay. No. But, and I have um, seen him in a few dramas. And you will not see him again as Grindelwald. No. <laughs> no. No. Um, yeah. I have seen him in a few more like dramatic things, um, and and he's been good. Was but I feel been- like. Sorry, was he in What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Uh, yes, but I yeah, haven't seen yeah, that. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so he has been in some dramas, and I appreciate what he does there. But I feel like if I'm watching a movie with him in it, I'm watching it because it's Johnny Depp and not because like the sto- the story is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if that makes any yeah. sense, I'm like, you should- I'm looking for Johnny Depp and like that particular character. Yeah, he was in the original Twenty One Jump Street. Um, yeah. So I think that would be a good place to look to see mm. pre Pirates Johnny like in mm. his in his in his like youth and seeing how he how he is as a character. Well, yeah, there's plenty yeah. of stuff pre Pirates. Like he was also yeah. in Edward Scissorhands mm-hmm. before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. After Pirates, I believe he was in. 
I don't know this this movie has taken a hit from me like I loved it for a for a, a bit um and then like last time I, I went to watch it again a couple years ago or maybe it was last year I don't know and I was like eh, okay this Ed, uh not Edward Scissorhands I just said that um Sweeney Todd mm. I was like oh. I thought you might be saying that yeah like uh, okay it's all right Sweeney Todd is interesting yeah it is yeah, yeah. Uh, I think but I it like might the be... story better because I, I have okay. the story. I have the actually. I think I have the Penny Dreadfuls, and it's in there. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah, I I've seen um, most of that movie. <laughs> I covered my eyes through probably a fourth of it. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's uh, not that bad. It can... I was like six. I was like sixteen at the time. I was like, ah, no. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I still respect him as an actor for the most part, and I and I love what he does. But he is typecast in a lot of a lot of uh, things, and so I'm just like, yeah, maybe not as good as I thought he was. Yeah, and it's it's difficult. A lot of actors are typecast. So. Yeah, well, that's fair. Uh, is it me? Is it me? It is you? your turn. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt you like no, I always do. So. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I figured for once I'll be nice. Um, I'll I'm take still what trying I can to get. figure it out. So this other one, this is one that I I apologize if, well, you should be used to it by now, but I apologize if my uh, thoughts aren't super clear and concise right now as mm. I'm kind of formulating them, my thoughts as I am speaking. Okay. So, Another actor that, uh, an actress actually that this was really recent with was Kristen Stewart. Oh. Uh, and I, I totally forgot her name when I saw her in this movie. Like, I'm like, I know that she's like a famous person. She's been in stuff. Not really anything <laughs> that I've seen, I don't think. Um, but you the, know what she's most famous for, though, right? Yeah, she's in Twilight. Yeah, I'm just but saying I'm, it's funny. I've never that, like, seen Twilight. We keep coming back to Twilight actors, know, and we're we like, do. they're actually good. That's turns why I, out. <laughs> yeah, but like the actors, like yeah, she's I I like her because uh, I saw her in uh, Happiest Season, mm. which that's another movie. It's probably pandering to me. <laughs> I, it, it's a bit. Um, I'm within that target audience, I would say. You like um, stories of people. <laughs> you well, like seeing those. You like seeing those stories. It's a lesbian story. Yeah, it's a romantic lesbian how uh, Christmas story, not Halloween. <laughs> well, she's well, she's you know, she's trying to break break the news to her parents about her identity and. Well, know. and it's not if you've seen it, it's not her breaking the news to her parents. It's a uh, it's her. Oh couple. yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's right. That, that's right. I haven't seen. I saw the trailers and the, the movie yeah, looks, the looks in, looks funny. Yeah, many times. And I mean, so, like, yeah, I get you, get you get the gist of it though. Honestly, the movie it's not like it's not a particularly unique or different movie. It um, <laughs> it was nice because like as soon as if you are anybody that watches uh, a lot of lesbian movies, <laughs> usually. Uh, there there aren't a lot of happy endings. They usually don't get together. They usually break up if they're in a relationship at all. Or a lot of times, which is probably more likely, is they spend the entire movie um, getting close to each other and almost getting together, but never actually getting together. And one of them usually ends up with a man or something. Um, Hollywood's got to keep its heteronormity. Yeah, it's it's stupid um it is stupid I'm, I'm okay i'm i have things to say but go for it but uh and this is a bit of a spoiler although i think a spoiler like this for uh i guess a rather standard i guess it's a hallmark movie i don't really know um like it's a nice change of pace for the lesbians because they get a happy ending yay and i was together and i'm like Oh, I'm so happy about that. And here in Nerd but, Variety, we believe everyone deserves a happy ending. Yes. Uh, most people. Some people. Quite no one deserves a happy ending. Every group of people. No one deserves there's no, a happy There's ending. no group of people who... Every movie must end like Infinity no. War. I mean, no. I don't think... 
I mean, I don't think like the Nazis deserve a happy ending or anything. Okay, well, no, no, no. Yeah, you're yeah, right. That's you're true. Right. They're they're jerks. <laughs> exactly. So um, that joke only goes so far. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, and like Kristen Stewart, I I liked her in it. Like I noticed she was she was good. You know, again, it wasn't like a mega standout hit. I don't think it's going to be something that people write home about. But it's it was good. She was good. I really appreciated some of her uh, uh, her outfits. I, you know, I just I enjoy that kind of thing. What can I say? Um, but yeah, so Kristen Stewart, she she's one that I I think I'm gonna. I don't know how much I'm gonna go back and try to look at some of her work. Yeah, I I think I've been told enough to try to avoid to avoid Twilight. But uh, that was never going to be on my list in the first place. Don't, Especially don't since do it, it sounds like for Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson, those were the two things, or they were not given <laughs> enough Mm-mm. good stuff to do in those. No. Um, yeah. But yeah, she I, had she had a movie recently where she played a um, marine biologist or a diver, um, and it's kind of like a psychological like thriller, thr- thriller ter- you know, horror movie. Um, I don't know what it's called. It came out. It came out last year. I don't think it did very well, but it seemed interesting to see her, you know, in that role. Yeah. yeah. Also, don't watch her in Snow White and the Huntsman. Don't. That's, that's another bad one. <laughs> I think I did watch Snow White, and the Huntsman, uh, but I think I kind of slept through parts of it and didn't really. Yeah. Get yeah. The rest of as it. most people, as most people would, it's not really a very. It's not a very lively movie. <laughs> yeah. I just want to add um, on what you were saying earlier about. Um, uh lesbian stories in in movies not getting happy endings is i feel like i've actually been seeing a lot of really good um lgbtq representation in cartoons i watch a lot of cartoons more than is normal for a 25 year old um but but i've seen a lot of like cartoons and i love it because they're specifically geared towards children i've seen a lot of cartoons that are, are trying to include more lgbtq people and relationships um and just really paint them as normal and i think that's really cool yeah and they are they are doing a good job at that like um bojack horseman was another one that i always bring up and uh, it had um is that a kid's show though no oh, <laughs> not geared towards kids representation it actually it helped me I would say um, because a main character in there in uh, like season three, maybe four, uh, finds out that he's asexual, and that's another thing that uh, I really enjoyed. I really yeah. appreciate. It. All right, Josh, we got time for one more. Mm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna actually do a double like I did last time. Again? These are two. Well, these are two that I like kind of liked in the beginning, but now I'm like, nah, I don't want to because I did I did kind of two that I was like. Okay. It, 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 only, only because they had the same role, and these gotcha. guys, these guys are kind of similar. But I, okay, well, but just know I'm not going to let you go on for three minutes with honorable mentions after this. Okay, you already had twice I, as many people as the rest of us. Uh, can I have? Well, okay. Anyways, just I'll have. Start, can I have one more after this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Charlie Sheen. Okay. All right, he was funny back in the day, but now watching his stuff, his stuff now, I see him as like. Well, especially two and a half men a lot of stuff was written you know kind of for him it's like uh kind of really yeah it's like a lot of it was kind of like you know kissing his butt or just he, he seemed like the same kind of person from the show and seeing him in some other things seeing him in you know how he's kind of been as a person in real life it's like i would not want to be in the same room with him i think i'm good um another person which i have you know is uh steven seagal yeah yeah he's a kind of a he's not great he's not a great person he uh, was popular years back doing a lot of action movies um but now looking at some of his like he keeps trying to make action movies and he's not in action movie shape and he is he has been revealed to be kind of be you know a pretty big creeper um i know he did a um a stint as a he did a reality show where he was where he played where he had a camera follow him while he was doing police work but it just it didn't seem enough to be to, you know, make him seem like a great guy or, or make make anyone or it seems like, OK, why are we still following him or, you know, giving him, you know, so much stuff or, or, or paying attention to him? He's not 
you know, his movie, the movies he makes now are just really just kind of glorifying him. He makes them himself. It's just, he's just not worth following anymore. He's like a, his own mini Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, kind of, kind of, yeah. <laughs> like this movie's about me. I paid for it. I directed it. I started it. I wrote it. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. win. Generally, I, I, win. <laughs> I win in the end. I get the girl. Yeah, I just, in, in general, a uh, little life tip here. It, you need to have people to tell you when you're doing stuff wrong. Mm-hmm. You need yeah. to listen. Yeah. 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 Those people are good for you. Yeah. And or, good for everybody else on your behalf. Yeah. And apologize if you do a bit, if you have a big screw up. Mm-hmm. Um, take some time away Oof. and then reconsider, reconsider, you know, where you stand in, you know, the public eye. It's like, okay, I should have done that. You know, I'm, but I'm going to be better. I'm going to do different things, yeah. you know. And realize when I'm at it, when I can't play the action hero anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just stop, man. Just stop. <laughs> Constructive criticism usually comes from a good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just looking out for you. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. We're trying to trying to keep yeah. you included, but you know, everybody has their time. Yep. All right. Do we have time for each person? I, I, I thought I had an idea. What if each of us gives an honorable mention and gives no details? So if the audience wants to know, they'll have to ask us for a second episode. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, have, All right. <laughs> I have one, if I can get mine out of the way real quick. Yeah. Um, just a little bit of details. Just, okay, so it's it's an actor who I have changed my opinion on and maybe why or what it was. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, actually, I can probably just say the name. Jared Leto. Mm, okay. okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Mine is Angelina Jolie. Hmm. Okay. Josh. Kristen Bell. Oh, okay. Kristen Bell. And yeah. now I'm actually even more intrigued because <laughs> we didn't say if it's for the better or the worse. No. Nope. Yep, yep. No, we didn't. So yep. if people want to know they'll have to let us know if yeah. they want to know please and thank you <laughs> well that sounds good uh i am excited now to hear a sequel to this <laughs> maybe we'll do it uh maybe we'll do it next season because we're as not of doing now, it this season huh no because we're not doing it this season we're not doing it this season as of now we have two episodes left uh next week we're talking about musicals which we musicals. have been trying like all year since maybe last year even to to get a guest on one of our friends we have two friends that would be good for this topic and both are refusing to do it so yeah i could also bring sarah back you could i'm fine yeah. with that. <laughs> i'm gonna keep trying to convince uh courtney but i don't think she's sure doing. um so that's next week musicals and the week after is going to be our final week for the season and that's going to be new tech i believe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's our Christmas episode. Yeah, talking about gadgets. Gadgets. Very Gizmos. <laughs> so, thank you guys for coming. Uh, we always enjoy this. We hope you do as well. Uh, let us know. Contact us somewhere. However, um, send me a text and let us know if there are any actors that you've changed your opinions on uh, and why. Or if you want to know how I really feel about Angelina Jolie. Yeah. <laughs> Ask us to do yeah. a new episode. And uh, yeah, thank you guys uh, again. Until next time, nerd out. Goodbye. Nerd out. <laughs>